The U.S. sat in this chair and could not answer, would not answer, whether the Saudis are moving towards a nuclear weapon, saying it's a matter of national security for his country. Uh, I said, I'll put that down as a maybe. And he said, I'm not going to comment. Wow. That was a significant moment because clearly they are one. I think that's right. I think there's no doubt about it. I think that's the way they feel about Israel and its nuclear capabilities. And they now, in this Obama doctrine vision for the Middle East, he wants the Saudis, he wants the Egyptians, he wants them all to become active players in their own defense and get out of this mode of waiting for the United States to come in and be the neighborhood cop. So they're going to have to take more responsibility and you're going to see, I think, as a result of the hope would be more kind of a, a, a Arab working on Arab issues and Arabs resolving those issues rather than waiting for the outside hand. We want to see Saudis with the bomb and Egypt with the bomb and Turkey with the bomb. This is the most unstable region in the world. This is a place where you wake up in the morning and the government in Yemen has been swept away and the bad guys are in power and Al Qaeda's on the march. This is overnight. It happens so quickly that we have to evacuate our embassy. It can happen in any one of these countries. And our policy is to encourage each of these governments, which could disappear overnight, to possess a nuclear weapon, some of them who would pass it on, on to uh, terrorists and others. This is insane. What we have done in Europe, in the Pacific, elsewhere, as a way to, to prevent proliferation is to offer our protection and to say that the, the United States, especially our Navy, our offshore power is here. What we've done is to demonstrate a willingness to go over and to create a hegemonic Iran that scares the Arabs to death and that will cause a nuclear reaction and proliferation. But that's a catastrophe. That is not a strategic objective.